Today we're going to turn in a set of candlesticks out of walnut. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, what I did is I have a center finder here, and if you, even if your your wood isn't square or close to square, you can put this on it and mark your lines and just keep going around. And what it will do is leave you with a box, and then the center of your wood, the center of your piece will be right there, right in the center of the box. So I did that on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and take a Forstner bit and drill down into one side of it, and then put it on the lathe. All right, all I did was drill down through the center of it so that it will accept the candle and it's tape, the candles are tapered a little bit so it'll take that. And let's go ahead and mount it up in between centers. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just true it up. So here's the other candlestick we're going to be matching. So we're just going to go ahead and got it trued up a little more on that end, a little more down there. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and set the, the length and everything. So, I'm going to come in just a little bit here so I can true it up. And right there. And then just turn your lathe on. You can see your pencil line. And there we go. Then we know what, <clears throat> exactly where we need to go. Just going to take the parting tool. Come in and there we go. We want them the same diameter, so we're going to go ahead and use the calipers to set those. I'm going to leave it just a little bit thick for sanding. The walnut is not a real hard wood, so you take off quite a bit of material when you're sanding. So I'm going to, going to leave it a little bit thick. There we go. I'm going to do the, just do the same down on the, on the bottom to make sure, because the diameter is a little bit different. Just going to check that. Just going to bring it down with the parting tool. Gonna leave it a little bit thick too. I'm just gonna use the skew, the skew chisel. Go ahead and, and keep when you're when you lay this on there, keep that the heel of it away from that's what digs in and catches and, and will shoot back in your hand. So just just lay it down there and then roll it over until it starts to cut. Just like that. And then just keep using the other one as a reference. 
as you come down. So our our smallest point's gonna be right in there, so that's where we're gonna bring it down. Then we'll caliper put the calipers on that too. candlesticks or, or just spindle turning in general helps you quite a bit you know just with technique and and how to do stuff um, just put a piece of wood on it and you know turn beads or something it, it, it helps you quite a bit to learn how to use the tools and how to get them to cut the best best way you can Okay, I'm gonna caliper the, the center here. We got have quite a quite a ways to go before we get there. Just gonna go ahead and bring it bring it down. Alright. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and uh, Maybe bring this down just a little bit more. I think it's a little bit taller than the other one. And then bring the center down just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and sand it up. Slow the lathe back down. Alright, and then just Finishing up with 600 here. And go ahead and take it off the lathe and cut the bottom off on the bandsaw. There we go. Wipe off the excess. Go ahead and polish it up. Set of matching walnut candlesticks. Um, one quick tip: um, this one I turned, um, I drilled the Forstner bit uh, before I put it on the lathe. It's centered. This one I turned afterward, not centered. So <laughs> put your uh, put your hole in it before you put it on the lathe. It centers itself and and comes out much better. This one's just off a little bit and it doesn't look good. But other than that, uh, matching set. There they are. All right. Thanks for watching.